hi here uh, we'll see how to count uh, consecutive rows in sql we also call it as a consecutive occurrences okay so sometimes right the what is the purpose of this uh, counting consecutive rows sometimes you want to book the tickets where it is three are available uh, in that scenario uh, we use a con consecutive uh, count of seat booking okay if you can observe this table right uh, it is coming from the bus ticket booking system i got seat number availability and bus name if you can uh, see the seat number one it is available seat number two it is not available seat number three it is not available similarly seat number 10 it is not available so i don't want all these seats right so i need only uh, seat number four five six these three are available so this call it as a consecutive seat number i want to capture only these records from this uh, table so for that we'll see like uh, how we can record that so if you can technically speaking what and all i i need from this table i need a current seat number previous seat number and a next seat number uh, i want to capture that count not all the count right i need a preceding one and following one if you can say in the bus right you are sitting in one place you want to you, you, you want to uh, get the ticket your left side and the right side that's what three right so similarly uh, preceding technically speaking in sql preceding uh, row and uh, following row we can say that okay so this uh, concept right preceding and following it comes under window functions if you want to know more about that you can uh, read a window functions article okay let us see how we can uh, frame this equal for that first we'll write some inner query to capture only that uh, those three records okay you can write sql like this seat number availability and count of uh, the seat number s preceding one following one so you will get this output uh, the four the three records i was talking about right those three are available consecutive uh, records so so you'll you'll get you will get the output like this if you can execute the uh, that query okay if you can closely observe this table right uh, seat number availability bus name and count so how this count is being calculated if you can observe the row one it is two and uh, row two is three and uh, row three is uh, two again so how this uh, count is being calculated means for example assume you are in a first row okay so do you have any uh, uh, preceding row here no do you have any following row here yes that is why uh, that is what the count is to if you can see the last row right do you have any uh, preceding row here yes you have one record do you have any following row here no that is what two is uh, similarly uh, the second second one the middle one right how, how how you are getting three so here you have a preceding row and as well as you have a following row so that's why uh, you are getting three here so not only one preceding and one following you can also uh, capture unbounded preceding and unbounded following similarly okay so if you can use that uh, unbounded preceding and uh, unbounded follow following you will get uh, uh, count as three for all the rows because you have only three uh, availability three three consecutive rows available right so that's what you are getting uh, this three three count if you can come down here right so similarly not uh, not only the consecutive records count you can also capture the uh, consecutive months consecutive dates and consecutive days as well okay so if you can come down if you can able to uh, frame the entire query so our query would be something like this you just paste that uh, inner query in uh, in this query as i said like you need a uh, select seat number minus one seat number and seat number plus one and your inner query and uh, account should be three okay right so that's what uh, we framed this sql and uh, finally we'll get the output something like this seat number minus one seat number uh, and seat number plus one four five six this is what uh, 